In this video, we will look at some special cases of slope. If you recall, slope is a measure of steepness of a line. If we look at this first line on the left, a horizontal line, we can calculate slope by doing the rise over run. However, you'll notice from one, one dot to the next, there is no rise. This would be a rise of 0 over a run of 3 units. 0 over 3 reduces to 0. We say this line has a slope of 0, a 0 slope. Looking at this picture, it makes sense that we call this a 0 slope because slope is a measure of steepness. You could imagine a little man walking across this line would have no problem because of its absolute flatness. Because it is a simple walk across with no incline, there is a zero slope. It doesn't get any flatter than zero, a measure of steepness. Contrast this with the line on the right. Again, slope is calculated as the rise over the run. With the two points given, we see we rise 5 units. However, there is no horizontal change. There is no run. If you recall, we are not allowed to have 0 in the denominator of a fraction. We say this is undefined. This slope is undefined because it is so incredibly steep. It has no slope, which makes sense. If slope is a measure of steepness, you could imagine a man trying to walk up this slope would have a pretty difficult time about it. He would actually fall. because it is so absolutely steep. If this is the steepest possible line, we need a number that represents the steepest possible value. While a million is steep, you could go as steep as a slope of a trillion or a Googleplex. We could keep going steeper. We use undefined to represent this largest possible number of an infinite slope of maximum steepness. It is important to note that there is a difference between a zero slope, which is completely flat, and no slope, which is completely horizontal. It is often confused between one and the other. Zero slope is an easy walk in the park. No slope is a cliff that you've fallen off of because it's undefined in how steep it is.